Hello, fight fans. I'm the Once and Future host of Triple THS, Tommy Toehold. On today's show, I talk with Nick Diaz. The UFC helps save the economy, and Ross Pearson gets in a little trouble. Plus, a viewer comment of the week. Let's start this train wreck. Real Deal apparently got real drunk. Ross Pearson was detained on Sunday after failing a field sobriety test, according to TMZ. This marks the first bit of trouble for the British fighter since he started in the UFC back in 2009. Chances are Ross will get some community service if found guilty. My suggestions? Teach James Tony how to defend a low single and speak. Warn children about the dangers of being a giant douchebag. Or organize the many homeless of Las Vegas to help promote the ultimate fighter. Show is doing terrible. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. UFC's finally made it into New York to ring the opening bell at the NASDAQ. John Jones, not James Brown, Frankie Edgar, and Ronda Rousey were all in attendance for the momentous occasion. Shortly after the bell rang, a giant interdimensional alien attacked the city, but was no match for John Jones' reach, Frank Yeager's heart, Ronda Rousey's armbar, and Kurt Menefee's appetite. Nick Diaz is lawyered up and ready to fight the NSAC on his license suspension due to a positive ganja test after his bout with Carlos Condit. To talk about his case, I'm joined by the former Strike Force champ. Nick, how you doing? Fucking not good or whatever. I see. And what exactly is your case against the NSAC? Uh, fucking not giving me due process or whatever. It's been like two months and they haven't given me a hearing or some shit. It's fucking whatever fucking statutory jurisdiction or whatever. Caesar Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, what? What? Nick, if your suspension gets lifted, will you fight Carlos Condit? I mean, it's whatever, but yeah, I'll fight that punk-ass bitch. He's not gonna come at me like a man or whatever, but he's a great fighter and I respect him a lot and Caesar Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and whatever. Great, thanks for the interview, Nick. Anything else? Yeah, courtroom by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. All right, Jam, take it easy. Caesar Gracie Jiu-Jitsu! It's that time again, fight fans. This week's viewer comment goes to a fan who had some trouble while watching last week's show. Tell him about it, Johnny. It's time for the viewer comment of the week! This week's comment comes to us from Green Seedless, who had this to say about his experience watching last week's show. The 300 line made me shoot water out of my bong mid-hit. That's fucking hilarious. Green Seedless. Thanks for taking time out of what we're sure was a busy day to watch the show. And congratulations on being the viewer comment of the week. Say something funny or interesting in the comments below and you might just be featured on the viewer comment of the week. That's the show, Fight Fans. Tune in next Wednesday when I challenge Ronda Rousey's Jigglypuff with my Steelix. Till then, follow me on Twitter to get my thoughts on life and MMA. Be sure to check out the MMAMovement.com for the latest in MMA from people just like you. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. See you in another life, brother.